Sales with Bill Evans and Pat Lanny, and we're previewing all 14 weight classes at this weekend's NJSIAA Wrestling Championships in Atlantic City. Right now we're looking at the 170 pound class and it's a pretty good bracket. So good in fact that an unbeaten freshman from Howe is the number 13 seed. When you talk about this weight class you start at the top and the number one seed Dominic Mandarino from Don Bosco got off to the great start. He jumped to the top of our individual rankings. Then he got hurt. He was out for a while. Um, is he the man, Pat? I, I like Don Mandarino <laughs> a lot. I think he's scrappy, smart, um, a great wrestler in big moments. He went to the finals at the Beast of the East. That's when he made that big jump to the top of our poll. Um, he's been he's a two-time state medalist. He's going to Stanford next year. He has all the credentials in the world. Um, really just looking for that signature moment for Mandarino. Maybe it's this tournament. Um, Obviously, he's got a, a nice path there at the top, but there are some guys in that upper bracket. Um, if you look at number four seed, um, Aiden Monteverdi from Seton Hall Prep is having a great year. And, and, you know, Seton Hall Prep and Don Bosco wrestled twice this year, and we thought maybe we'll get that Mandarino uh, Monteverdi matchup. Never happened. But, uh, Mandarino was out both times with injuries. Um, so maybe that could be a really good semifinal. You also got to look out for Cranford's Vince Consina, the number five seed. He's had a really good season, but you're right. The, you know, we've been waiting for uh, Monteverdi and Mandarino, and it just hasn't come to pass. And, um, I, I, you know, Monteverdi really thinks he has a shot to win that, so that'll be one great semifinal. But another great semifinal could be in the bottom bracket. Bill, talk a little bit about that one with Bill Janzer of Delcy and Brian McLaughlin of Woodbridge. Yeah, this, this could obviously, uh, you know, this could be obviously be a final if, if Mandarino was, wasn't. Um, at the top, you know, you, you've got you know, two guys. That, uh, Janzer was third in the state last year at 160. McLaughlin was fourth. Uh, Janzer won the, the third place match, seven to six, which was a great match. Um, you know, that's probably a little bit of benefit to Mandarino as he gets to avoid both of those guys until the final, and we'll only have to, to face one of them. Um, you know, Delcy and Woodbridge wrestled this year, and again, kind of like on the top half, that matchup didn't come about. But I, I think we're, we're probably going to probably going to see it here. Well, it's time for us to make our picks here. Bill, give us your final and who comes out on top. Yeah, I saw James or Mandarino uh, wrestle in back in December at, at the South Jersey Duels in front of a couple hundred fans, and I kind of thought at the time that I was probably going to see them wrestle in March in front of about ten thousand fans. Uh, Mandarino got out to a quick four to one start there, held on six four, avoided to get getting turned. Um, you know, Janzer, he, he's been. A kid that's really developed over the last few years. Uh, Delcy's former coach, Steve Isles, told me when he was in the seventh grade that he was the next Donnie Fish. Donnie Fish took fourth as a sophomore and won state titles as a junior and senior. Last year, Janzer was third, and I, I think um, I think he gets it this year, the, the first two state titles for Billy Janzer over Don Mandarino in, in the rematch in the final. Patrick, what do you think? Yeah, I really <laughs> like Mandarino coming out at the top. I think he's just slightly ahead of Monteverdi there in what should be a good semifinal. Down the bottom, you mentioned those two guys. I think they're absolute studs, really talented guys. Um, but there are also three other guys to look out for in that bottom bracket, and that's Joey Shealy from Morris Hills, Anthony Asatrian from Bergen Catholic, and Cole Creshpain from Del Barton. They've all kind of wrestled each other this year with some mixed results. Three guys that could potentially be dangerous guys there in the bottom, but like you said, I think those two guys, McLaughlin and Jans, are a little bit ahead of them. Um, I think that's the other great semifinal like we've talked about. So. I'm going to take Dom Mandarino from Don Bosco Prep over Brian McLaughlin of Woodbridge in the final. I'm going to be a little different to Pat. I'm going to pick the same final. I think McLaughlin and Mandarino are going to get there, and I think the McLaughlin Janzer match could just be, you know, one for the ages. But I'm going to take McLaughlin to win it. You know, he lost a strange bout last year where he forgot what color ankle he was wearing, and 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 I, you know, I think he's. Very fired up to be here. I think he's going to be on point this year from, from the first whistle to the last. I'm going to take McLaughlin over Mandarino to win the 170-pound title. Please stay with us. 182 is coming up next.